Hey guys, Mastering in here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be having a look at the new LR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 after a painstaking night of grinding at work for these guys. Uh, the drop rate for the medals is not the best, let me tell you, so uh, finally managed to get him to LR. Uh, mine's only Super Attack 10, I haven't finished farming up the second one all the way to LR yet because that is another mission all in, unto itself. So we're going to have a look at him at SA10. Uh, he, they are basically a support unit so they're not going to be hitting super hard anyway so I'm fine with them being super attack 10 for now. So their leader skill, super type allies, HP, attack and defense 100% when team includes all five super types. So it's basically like Tech Vegito Blue where you have to have one unit of each color. 100% to stats, no key, but it's definitely not bad for a free to play unit, especially if you don't have enough fierce battle units or anything like that to actually get Tech Vegito Blue. Uh, their super attacks, the 12 key colossal damage and seal super attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, 18 key mega colossal damage to enemy and raises super class allies attack by 30% for two turns, which is actually pretty good like actually raising everyone's attack for two turns is not something you see pretty much at all so that is very good passive skill super class allies key plus four and defense plus 50 percent so this makes up for the lack of key in their leader skill if you do have to use them as a leader uh, extreme class defense uh, extreme class enemies defense minus 70 percent that doesn't really make a huge amount of difference but I guess it's nice to have. Their links, unfortunately, aren't the best. So they got Hero of Justice, Patrol, Signature Pose, In Fighter, Supreme Power, Shattering the Limit, and of course, Legendary Power. Uh, their only category is the Margin Boo Saga. They do share In Fighter with Vegito Blue, uh, sorry, Physical Super Vegito, who is the leader of that team. And quite a few units in that category do have the Supreme Power link as well. Uh, they're not really you're not really going to come across people that have links like hero of justice unless you've got the AGL say a man from the barbershop so if you're free to play um, he's probably a really good link partner for them uh, but we're going to be using him on the Majin Buu saga category team uh, so if we go over to the gameplay here I figured it only makes sense to take on Kid Buu himself uh, this way we can get the type advantage in the final stage. Like I said, they are basically a support unit, so it doesn't really matter how much damage they're actually going to do. But I think we might as well see for ourselves. So rather than bring a unit like the AGL, say a man, I've tried to bring what is more representative of a team that you would actually use. Um, this is very close to what my main Martian Boo Saga team is anyway. And uh, with a plus four key passive, one of their best link partners is probably going to be the actual LR um, Vegito. So let's go for this, and then let's give them. Let's get their 18 key super. Let's see that straight away, and then I guess we'll give that to you. So they are potentially a really good fit for this team because there are links all over the place depending on who you want to bring uh, physical super vegito only has prepared for battle units like the str ulma gohan who i didn't bring with me but is a popular choice for the team uh, only has shocking speed um some of the other units won't have shattering the limit uh, so giving four key to everyone on the rotation is pretty good and over a million damage with no crit. That is uh, actually more than I expected. That's really not bad at all. I mean, we had the Tech Vegito on the rotation, so obviously he does give them a bit of a boost. Uh, but they did have the In Fighter link with the uh, physical Super Vegito, so that is very good as well. Uh, let's do this. Don't really want the physical. Um, Gohan at the back taking a load of hits but he should be fine so he's not going to get super attack so he can get rid of some of that candy and this is of course the now extreme Z awakened kid Goten super attack 15 
so not bad damage from him. I only I think I only have one dupe in mine, and taking double digits with uh, neutral typing, that's actually pretty impressive as well. So physical Super Vegito. He takes time to build up his attack anyway, so he's not going to go too crazy here. Of course he's going to super attack Gohan though. And uh, he doesn't get off his dodge. 100,000 damage, well. Okay, so this is actually perfect because, uh, although I suppose it's not going to matter, is it? Because he's going to be dead before. So they don't have any key links or attack links with the LR before actually picking up any orbs. Obviously, once they get their super attack triggered, that is going to activate legendary power. But the uh, even without getting their 18 key super, the LR Vegito is obviously going to uh, finish off Boo here. But there we go. So good unit to have on the rotation with him, not only to trigger legendary power, but also for that plus four key. Very very useful. Um, okay, so we got Ron to Kid Boo. Uh, let's see. Let's use a Princess Snake for now, since he is going to super attack. I was hoping we'd get to this stage with the uh, Saiyan Man 1 and 2 on rotation, so we could use their ceiling ability, but unfortunately not. Let's get all the candy out of the way with you, and then you can grab those. So let's see what Goten... Easy A Goten here against Type Advantage. Yeah, nearly 900,000, that is, uh, that's good, I'll take that. And then, <laughs> double digits from the super attack, that is really good. Goten is probably the most useful out of the three units. Uh, the fact that he's an orb changer really helps out both this category and um, hybrid Saiyans. And it looks like we're not even going to need to worry about <laughs> Saiyan Man 1 and 2 sealing him up because he is done so now we're going to go on to Kid Buu and see how much damage they can do against him uh, sweet we've got the support Gohan here as well will the Geo one shot Kid Buu that is the question so what we will do since I'd rather not find out if they will one-shot him, is we will put the rotation around this way, because we've got more than enough health, so he's definitely not going to kill us. Um, we've got enough key to get the 18 key super with Saiyan Man 1 and 2, and then you can get that. With the huge buff from the physical Gohan on rotation, we probably aren't going to take a huge amount of damage. So, can we take him out in this one rotation? Gohan obviously not going to do a huge amount of damage. <laughs> Putting in some effort though with the additional normal attack. But, here we go with the 18 key super with type advantage. 378. And then double digits on the way back. So... Obviously, the final stage boss has a lot more defense than the uh, previous stage. <laughs> Level 5 dodge coming in for the LR. Like to, that's what we like to see. So, hmm. Unfortunately, because of the counters, I am fairly sure he won't survive this turn. Even if we do this. I'm deliberately not super with anyone. Because that is the plan. So let's do that. Hopefully the uh, Vegitos won't do too much damage with their counter attacks. And of course, of course you're going to super attack the uh, the one non-physical unit on this rotation. Although 61k from Kid Buu with uh, neutral typing is actually pretty solid for the Easy A Goten. So, oh well. Yeah, that, that, that damage, though, from the counters. 340k, wow, okay. 
Well, there you go. So Kid Boo got absolutely destroyed. The uh, LR Sayaman 1 and 2, not going to be the hardest hitting unit on your team, but very good for support. Um, I mentioned this in a video, I don't know if it was on the stream or if it was a video that I put up yesterday, but with that key based passive, um, I'm going to put together an all super types LR team, all LRs, and these guys are really going to help with that extra key, because making an all LR team is like a fun gimmick, but a lot of them don't have good key links together. So having a unit on one of your rotations that is giving four keys to everybody else is going to make it a lot easier to get those 18 key supers. So I'll probably get that video up tomorrow. So stay tuned to see how that goes. It means we'll finally be able to use uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku LR on the all LR team. Because unfortunately he just links so badly with a lot of the other LRs that it's not worth using him on that team. Because if you don't get his 18 key, he really doesn't do a lot of damage. So it's going to be fun to try that out because these guys are going to give him four key as well as sharing Shattering the Limit, which is another two key. So should work out very nicely. So stay tuned for that. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe for more regular Dokkan Battle content. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram at the Master Ningen or join my Discord. The link is in the description. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.